hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to take trades on otc market and how to find best opportunity in the market so let's start this is G this is gpp usd otc market the trend is down trend here so let's see if I, there's any opportunity and i think the major minor trend also is a, is a downtrend and the buyers are here okay i can see a strong seller's entry so if this can do we close at the buyers area we'll go with buyers now if we sell us i'm going to place the put option i place a put option here because this is buyers area you can see strong buyers entry and this is also a strong sellers movement and a weak sellers so this can do is a continuation sign of this downtrend the buyers are here or the buyers are here and this can do close here it means the continuation can do we continue the market to this level that's why i place a put option i see a strong sellers so let's see this one you can you can see a long long weeks can do and the downtrend so the buyers are here the sellers are here and i can see strong sellers so i'm going to place a put option i place a put option here because The sellers are here. That's why I've seen a rejection and a strong seller's entry. The buyers are here. The buyers are here. The buyers are here. And because of this strong downtrend and the strong bearish candle without lower rejection, so sellers will still form a bearish candle here. That's why I place a put option. You can see a strong bearish candle. Okay, this is a major and minor uptrend, a strong bias movement. So, I think they break this seller's entry. Okay, now I can see a Marbozu can do, so I'm going to place a put option. Oh, my entry is late. I place a put option here because of this Margozu candle, a reversal sign after it broke the seller's area. So the next candle will be a bearish, but my entry is late here. Okay, strong sellers. I think we see this one. Okay, yeah. I can see a ranging market, strong buyers, strong buyers, the sellers are here, so rejection from sellers, I'm going to place a put option. I place a put option here because this is sellers area, this is sellers area, this is sellers area. And again, I'm seeing a rejection from sellers. So the next candle will be a bearish. Must close as a bearish. Okay. Let me take one more trade. Let's see this one. Okay, a downtrend and a minor downtrend. But the buyers are here. And this is a strong candle. It broke the bias area. I think it's going to stop here. Because it broke the bias area. If I see any rejection and let me draw it anyway. So I don't make a mistake. Okay, there's no rejection. And it closed exactly at the bias area, so I'm going to place a put option. 
I place a put option here because this is bias area. This is bias area. But I'm seeing a strong downtrend. And this candle is a strong bearish candle <coughs> without lower rejection. So there's no buyers. Buyers are not interested in the market. So because of this downtrend, the next can the market will still go more down. Okay? That's why I place a put option. But my entry is late. At least to this level. The market will continue to this level. Okay. And this will be my last trade. So I've taken five trades. Why I take this trade? Because I saw that the the profit is high. Okay. You can see that I've taken my five trades. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All ITM. Okay. So I will explain the trades again. Yeah, I place a put option here because because the buyer's area is here. That's where I've seen a strong buyer's entry. And again, I've seen a seller's entry. But this can do, and a weak can do. But this can do is a continuation sign of this downtrend. If this candle appear without a strong bearish trend, it will reverse the market. But because I'm seeing a strong seller's movement here, and this candle is a continuation of this downtrend. So, and he has in and there's a new low here. So buyers are here and buyers are here. The candle close here. So this means that this downtrend, strong sellers will easily form a bearish candle. That's why I place a put option. And here. I place a put option here because the buyers are here and also the buyers are here. Again, there are some buyers here, but this strong seller's entry and again the strong seller's entry broke the previous buyer's area. And again, the next buyer's area is here and the next buyer's area is here. So it broke the buyer's area without a rejection here. So it means the Sellers movement here yeah, will easily form another bearish can. That's why I place a put option. And here, yeah, I place a put option here yeah, because the seller's area is here, yeah, which I've drawn on the left side, and this is a reversal candlestick, a Margozu candle. So it will reverse the market at the seller's area. So this is a sign that sellers will become weak in the market. That's why I've seen a stellar entry. Okay? The sign that buyers will come weak, not sellers. Buyers will become weak in the market. That's why I've seen a stellar entry. Okay? And here, I place a put option here because of this seller's area. This seller's area. And this is buyer's area. Buyer's area. Buyer's area. But this can be close at the seller's area with a rejection. So it means, and also the ma major down, major trend is downtrend. It means that sellers will enter the market. That's why I place a put option. Okay. And this one, I place here a put option because though the buyers area is here, but I'm seeing a strong downtrend and a strong sellers movement. And the last bearish candle is a strong candle without a rejection. So the next level is here. It means that the market will still go more down because the trend is down. So I'm following the trend. I'm not going against the trend. So the trend is down. That's why I place the put option here. Okay. Okay, guys. This is how you can trade with candlestick psychology. You don't need to worry yourself. Just check the levels follow the trend don't go against the trend the trend is your friend okay don't go against the trend okay if you like my video like share and subscribe thank you